Introduction. We have discussed cell theory, structure and functional regions of cell, types of plant and animal cells, structure of plant and animal cells, prokaryotic cells and difference between plant and animal cells already. Yes, now we'll discuss structure of eukaryotic cells and also observe the structure and functions of cell membrane and cell wall. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Know the characters of eukaryotic cell Know the characters of cell membrane Understand the functions of cell membrane Know the characters of cell wall Understand the functions of cell wall Structure of eukaryotic cells Eukaryotic cells have a definitely organized nucleus and cell organelles. These types of cells are found in many groups of algae, except cyanobacteria, fungi and other plants and animals. A typical eukaryotic cell consists of a cell membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm. Genetic material is organized in the form of chromosomes in eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells also have cytoskeletal structures. Characteristics of cell membrane The cell membrane is also called the plasma membrane or plasma lima. It is one biological membrane separating the interior of a cell that is a living cell from the outside environment that is non-living surroundings this cell membrane consists of both lipids and proteins along with carbohydrates the most abundant lipids are phospholipids the membranes are assemblies of lipid and protein molecules held together by non-covalent interactions the lipid molecules are arranged as a continuous bilayer, that is, double layer, approximately 4 to 5 mm thick. Fluid mosaic model The arrangement of phospholipids and proteins in biological membranes is described by the fluid mosaic model presented by S. J. Singer and G. Nicholson in 1972, the biological membranes can be considered as a two-dimensional liquid where all lipid and protein molecules diffuse more or less easily. The cell membrane consists primarily of thin layer of amphipathic molecules having both hydrophobic water-hating region and hydrophilic water-loving regions. Phospholipids which spontaneously arrange so that the hydrophobic tail regions are shielded from the surrounding polar fluid, causing the more hydrophilic head regions to associate with the cytosolic and extracellular phases of the resulting bilayer. The arrangement of hydrophilic heads and hydrophobic tails of the lipid bilayer prevent polar solutes, example, amino acids, nucleic acids, proteins, carbohydrates and ions from diffusing across the membrane but generally allows for the passive diffusion of hydrophobic molecules. Associated with each membrane is a set of membrane proteins that enables the membrane to carry out its distinctive activities. Membrane proteins can be classified in two broad categories. Integral, that is intrinsic. Peripheral, that is extrinsic. Integral membrane proteins have one or more segment that are embedded in phospholipid bilayer, having one or more covalently attached fatty acid chains that help them anchor to the membrane. Peripheral membrane proteins do not interact with the hydrophobic core 
of the phospholipid bilayer. Instead, they are usually bound to the membrane indirectly by interactions with integral membrane proteins. These proteins interact with membranes in different ways on the cytoplasmic side of the membrane. Some membrane protein connect to the cytoskeleton. On the exterior side of the membrane, some membrane proteins attach to the fibers of the extracellular matrix. Functions of cell membrane Holding cell contents Cell membrane hold the semi-fluid protoplasmic contents. Individuality Plasma lima maintains form and individuality of the cell. Protection Plasma membrane protects the animal cells from injury. Plant cells possesses wall over the plasma lima for extra protection and support. Organelles Cell membranes delimit a number of subcellular structures or organelles like nucleus, mitochondria, plastids, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, microbodies, etc. Cell recognition With the help of glycolipids and glycoproteins, cell membranes is able to differentiate similar cells from dissimilar ones foreign substances and tissues from familial materials. Cell recognition is useful for tissue formation and defense against microbes. Antigens Cell membrane possesses antigens which determine blood grouping, immune response, acceptance or rejection of a transplant. Cell junctions They help in keeping animal cells together. Sheets Plasma membrane form sheets around cilia and flagella. Microvilli These are membrane evaginations which are specialized for increasing absorption. Cytoplasmic bridges Plasmodesmata and gap junctions form cytoplasmic bridges between adjacent cells. Osmosis it is caused by the presence of special water channels in the membranes. Endocytosis Bulk intake of materials or endocytosis occurs through development of membrane vesicles. Exocytosis It is reverse of endocytosis that provides for throwing out of waste products and secretory materials. Intercellular communication Plasma membrane establishes a flexible boundary, protects cellular contents and supports cell structure. Physical barrier Phospholipid bilayer separates substances inside and outside the cell. Selective permeability It regulates entry and exit of ions, nutrients and waste molecules through the membrane. Structure of cell wall A cell wall is a tough, usually flexible, but sometimes fairly rigid layer that surrounds some types of cells. It is located outside the cell membrane and provides the cells with structural support and protection and also acts as a filtering mechanism. They are found in plants, bacteria, fungi, algae and some archaea, animals and protozoa. The chief structural component of cell wall is cellulose, which is the chain of many thousand sugar units. Along with cellulose, pectic compounds, hemicellulose, lignin, suberin, cutin, protein, fats etc. may also be found in the cell wall. Key nutrients, especially water and carbon dioxide, are distributed throughout the plant from cell wall in apoplastic flow. Middle lamella The plant cell wall can be differentiated into four regions. Middle lamella, primary wall, secondary wall, 
tertiary wall. The outermost layer of cell wall or the intercellular structure separating the walls of two adjacent plant cells is middle lamella. The pectins are most commonly found in the middle lamella. The basic chemical unit of pectin is the carbohydrate galacturonic acid which is capable of forming salts with calcium and magnesium. The middle lamella is mainly made up of calcium pectate. The characteristic softening of fruits during ripening is mainly due to increase in the solubility of middle lamella. Primary wall The initial wall of a plant is the primary wall. It is found inner to middle lamella. The primary wall develops on middle lamella on both the sides. The primary wall is composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, pectins and lignin. The primary cell wall of most plant cell is semi-permeable and permits the passage of small molecules and small proteins with size exclusion estimated to be 30 to 60 kDa or 30,000 to 60,000 atomic mass. Secondary wall The primary wall is followed by secondary wall which is thick, rigid, permeable and lies near the plasma membrane or tertiary cell wall mainly composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, xylene, lignin etc. In some cells, the secondary wall is impregnated with the lignin to form wood. Lignin is coniferal complex polymer of aromatic compound and is the main constituent of woody tissues. In some cells, the secondary wall is impregnated with suberin to form cork, making it impervious to water. Tertiary wall The tertiary wall is present beneath the secondary wall in tracheids, the principal water conducting cells of gymnosperms. The tertiary wall is special xylen rich wall layer deposited inner to the secondary wall in tension wood of some gymnosperms. Cellulose microfibrils are absent. Tertiary wall is distinguishable both chemically as well as through staining. Functions of cell wall A major function of the cell wall is to act as pressure vessel, preventing overexpansion when water enters the cell. Selective permeability regulates entry and exit of ions, nutrients and waste molecules through the membrane. It determines the shape of a plant cell and prevents desiccation of cells. Plasmodesmata connections help in movement of substances between cells. Cells connected by plasmodesmata form a system called symplast. The cell wall permits the plant cell to become turgid. As water enters the vacuole by osmosis, the plant cell expands. The cell wall has to be strong enough to resist this expansion and so enable the cell to become turgid. Apposition is the addition of new cell wall particles amongst the existing ones. It provides mechanical strength to support the cell. The cellulose microfibrils are very strong. The strength may be increased by the addition of lignin in tissues such as xylem. In cells such as cholenchymus, Extracellulose is added to the cell wall to increase mechanical support. The cell wall has narrow pores called pits through which fine strands of cytoplasm called plasmodesmata are able to pass. These intercellular connections allow exchange of materials between the living cell contents. Did you know?
Nagili and Kramer introduced the term cell membrane in 1855. In 1931, J.Q. Plowe called cell membrane as plasma lima. Danieli and Davison proposed sandwich model of plasma membrane in 1935. According to this model, it is a protein lipid bilayer protein sandwich. In 1959, J. David Robertson called all the biomembranes as unit membranes. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Plasma membrane is not permeable to glucose 6-phosphate. Membrane carbohydrates are usually branched oligosaccharides with fewer than 15 sugar units. They may be covalently bonded to lipids forming glycolipids or more commonly to proteins forming glycoproteins. The plasma membrane is selectively permeable and facilitates transport of several molecules. The plasma membrane consists of both lipids and proteins along with carbohydrates. The cell membrane consists primarily of thin layer of amphipathic phospholipids which spontaneously arrange so that the hydrophobic tail regions are shielded from the surrounding polar fluid causing the more hydrophilic head regions to associate with the cytosolic and extracellular phases of the resulting bilayer. The latest model of plasma membrane is fluid mosaic model. It was put forward by Singer and Nicholson. According to the fluid mosaic model, plasma membrane is composed of phospholipids, extrinsic proteins and intrinsic proteins. Proline is not constituent of cell membrane. The plasma membrane helps in osmoregulation. Plasma lima is made of single lipid layer and two protein layers. Correct sequence of protein P and lipid L in cell membrane is PLLP. Lipid molecules of plasma membrane are arranged parallel. Cell recognition and adhesion occur due to biochemicals of cell membranes named glycoproteins and glycolipids. Two animal cells are interconnected by desmosome. Cell eating is phagocytosis. The plasma membrane contains receptors that recognize and respond to molecular signals. The plasma membrane establishes a flexible boundary, protects cellular contents and supports cell structure. Phospholipid bilayer separates substances inside and outside the cell.